welcome to an entirely new game on my channel, which will be the start of an entirely new series. And I'm going to take a couple minutes right here with some nice chip mu chip tune music in the background to explain what that is. I see now, uh, well, I wanted to think of something different to put on my channel than everybody else does. And I see all these things like indie games, indie games, I have a segment on indie games, I, my entire channel is based on indie games. When I remember when I was younger and I didn't have a good enough computer in order to play all these beefy games that come out nowadays, I had two things. One, my really old games. And two, I had Flash games. Now, before you say anything about Flash games, because I seem to get this reaction of, oh, it's a point and click. Oh, it's a tower defense. Oh, it's copying Angry Birds. Which, by the way, there was a game before Angry Birds that Angry Birds copied. But that's a different discussion for a different day. I had, I, I had these Flash games that you could. You don't completely play for free on the internet was hosted on these sites that do still exist. And some people seem surprised that people actually play Flash games anymore. And it was actually similar to the indie scene nowadays before the indie scene blew up when games like Minecraft came out. Because it was these Flash game sites that were able to do things that wouldn't be accepted in the gaming industry as ever, as it was back then. You know, little pixelated and chiptune stuff hailing back to the Super Nintendo in that era. Or just game ideas that the big game companies didn't like. And people were able to try that with this, and on these hosting sites they even had like weekly and monthly contests, I guess, in order to promote doing more of them. I, you'd earn like $400 for having your game be the most voted one in the week or something like that. I forget the exact number, but this is one of the sites and I'm going to link it right here. Mo this is actually where most of the games I link will probably come from, but the link to this particular game will be in the description if you so desire to play it instead of just watching me play it. But on to the game itself. It's called Clarence's Big Chance. It's a Mario-esque game, but it's this is kind of different. And I will explain... well, I won't explain it. The game will as we go through the intro cutscene. Clarence is a 35-year-old fat sack of horse manure who still lives with his parents. Oh, the game likes to make fun of Clarence. However, this is actually a story of him changing himself. Like, actually changing his life for the better. Or you could just keep it crappy if you so desired, but that's not the point of the game. He led a lovelorn life, longing lustily for the lady of his dreams since as long as he can recall. But the girlies never seem to show them any interest for some unfathomable reason. This is totally the hair. It's just not the right color. It's not that it's... Looks like one of those... Iron... Scrubby brushes, or his nose, or his lips, or anything. No. Maybe it's because he collected, and later consumed, slugs? Maybe it's because he didn't believe in bathing? Maybe it's because he's grotesquely obese. As the game likes to make fun of him, like I said. Whatever the reason, they pulled faces of disgust when he was in their vicinity, these girlies, and made Clarence a sad, sad, fat, sad man. But, halt the presses! This drought of desire flowing in his direction was quenched last night, when he managed to chat, chat up some impressionable young lass on one of them interweb net sites. You know the type. He used balanced, filthy lies to woo that poor girl, of course, but in the end it won him a real-life date. Wowzers! His first ever! Score one! He awakens this fine date day, rip round for some action, yet determined to be dashingly romantic swoon lord to rifle the best of them. It's your job to lead him through his daily routine while preparing for his date. Get up, get dressed, clean your teeth, go to work, and so on. He may have love on his schedule today, but he can't afford to mess up the rest of his miserable life in the process, now can he? 
And this is where we begin, with basic controls! I regret that it uses use the WASD keys and I should probably get my cursor off the screen. Now, as I said, the game likes to make fun of Clarence a lot. <laughs> and there's also that. But, as I also said, it's making his life for the better because we're compl today is the day that it's going to completely turn around and everything's going to be better. I'm not making fun of him here. Use the arrow keys to move, obviously, and space to jump. Close messages like this, like so. And we can jump onto the bed, and if we jump, press and hold the jump, we jump really high. You know, you can open this menu pressing right and... I forget the exact controls myself, but I won't actually read the control signs very much. Simply because, well, I'm the one playing it. Hop to it, Clarence! Here's the space jar to, space bar to rocket jiggly into the sky like a rambunctious young scamp you most certainly aren't. Show those shows a lesson, you physics-defying tiger. Like that. Which, it, it does make sense. He jumped pretty high for a fat guy. Which, I can't help but think of any other fat guys that can jump so high. Who are possibly Italian and also plumbers. You bounce on bed, you can bounce on bed, you know. Hold space while jumping to bounce high in the sky like some kind of extremely ugly eagle. It was virgin. It's fat. Very fat. For whatever reason you want to mute or unmute the developer that put hours upon hours of blood, sweat, passion, and soppy tears and food composing, you can use the M key. Hint, hint. That's something that I actually never understood buy this game and then I'm not going to listen to any of the music at all, I'm just going to listen to my own music. I never understood that about people. You are a very fat man, Clarence. Jumping upon a living creature will crush it and put it with your girth. You shouldn't let lamps run around like this. Why not end their enigmatic animation? Again, I... That was an actual heart. Again, I can't think of anybody else who acts like that either. Those are like, they're eh coins, like eh, whatever. It's not too wise to leave your money all over the place attached to the thin air itself. I mean, lots of it if you're going to impress your lady friend. So basically, collect as much money as possible. It's not just like Mario where you collect it for fun. You actually have a dedicated reason to collect money in this game, which is to specifically buy stuff with. And the more, the bigger stuff you buy, the more likely you will impress the girl that you meet at the end of the game. Because you don't meet her until the end of the game, that is the end of the day, and this entire game is based on this one day. Some platforms like this shelf here are one way. You can jump from up from below, but not drop through them. How will they work is boggling. Theological physicist for millennia. I forgot that these signs were actually pretty funny. Here be ladders. Grab them by pressing buttons. That ladder does not actually lead up. Because be able to see a way up, it's not like some other games that like to hide entrances like that. It's like Cuddles, your cat is free for its regular confinement. Why not put the f fluffy bugger out of misery that calls us with your heartless... No. I don't want to do that, it's a cat. It's a cute cat. Ow. Ow. Well, if you're gonna scratch me, I mean... I didn't really have a choice. You think nothing of leaving your enormous golden keys all over the place, do you, Clarence Blow? Is it supposed to be a girl creating the signs? You think nothing of leaving it? No, I'm not going to do that. If you pick this one up and place it in your pocket, you can use it to unlock a door somewhere. He's still in his underpants, I don't think he has a pocket. Where is he storing... Actually, where is he even storing his money? If 
that's the case. I don't think I want to know the answer to that. But if you remember, there's a door over here. It opened it. This is this is a tele. We all know, merely walking beside one will store a copy of one's soul inside it or some such thing, allowing you to respond at the telly's position following one's untimely de demise. So basically, they are save points. Most cre creepily... The most creepily designed, descripted, but they're save points nonetheless. Astonishingly, you can compress your enormous bulk in a long respawn state and shuffle along the fat butt like a madman. I know I didn't actually say this one. And... He walks like that. As I showed before when I accidentally pressed the down button. Guessing that bird wants to kill me. I know it's just unlaying those insufferable wild birds. Why? I'll kill it then. And... Um, I don't think this box... Neither of these boxes are placed in the right direction. Looks like your dog, Boggles, is running rampant around your room like a mad thing. I hand, hand it in an impromptu... Utilization. Nah. That, that was... That was the one thing I didn't like about this game, is that... The very start things it does about his animals. It's like, eh, that's kind of a bad way to describe it, but when I think of, think back on it, it's that he was just a lumbering oaf before today, so, I mean, a fancy pink shirt and brown tie that you think make you look like a man of good taste. You are deluded. Bind them with your trousers and shoes to get dressed. I'm guessing I want to read this sign. You left your pants through here, didn't you? And lock them in because you thought they were haunted, which they aren't. You'll need a key. There are loads about, but there's a spare one somewhere in your parents' room, so you know. I'd like to point out we're still in his room. Like, this is still his room. You know, if that was my mother and she was throwing pads at me, I'd try and crush her too, I'm just saying. By the way, it might help if I read the sign. Like so many Cyberland characters, Clarence, you can rejuvenate your vim by devouring the hearts of fallen victims. Go on, give them a scuff and fill up your lovely heart points to stave off death for another day. Raise the laptop here. You've got a date today, but you only ever talk to the girl online briefly. These computers let you access information about their personality to prepare you for the encounter. Remember what you read. This is important because it's randomized to what she likes. And if you talk about the wrong thing in the end of the game, she actually likes you less, which you need a certain amount of points, per se, to get the best ending of the game. And a and i.e. finish it. Her favorite variety of flowers are roses. So later on, we'll have to get her roses. Gracious! Mummy's loose! She's probably trying to clean your room with those frying pans of hers, the mad old pen. How lover are you, fan the man? Does she need to be put out of misery? Know what I think? That's what I think. I can still collect these. So I was gonna have to go back up there. Here's a door! Enter it by pressing up, just like a sign on the other. Be saved every time... Oh, progress will be saved every time you enter a door. You will spawn enough if you ever meet the Reaper. So now we are in the... main area of the house. So this is... The hallway is the hub of your house. You need to go through your morning routine, wash the bathroom, eat, get dressed, etc. before going to work. That is the entirety of the first area. If you don't want to appear like Scruffpot, think of your lady friend. Did you know, Clarence, that you can return to the title screen and then it's the All you do now, be sure to use it responsibly. Let's crawl under here and get these coins real quick, and then go collect his shoes. 
These are your favorite black brown clogs. They make you the talk of the office, you know? Combine them with your shirt and trousers to get dressed. Here's the front door. You won't be able to come back if you leave through here, so make sure you're decent before making t for work. But what did you do with the front door keys? You know you left them somewhere. You could effectively just get the front door keys before collecting his pants or getting dressed or anything and just go to work in your underpants. However, you can guess how that would affect the inevitability of what would happen. And there is some more coins! Eh, let's not go into the attic just yet. Instead, let's go into this fancy bright pink door. Welcome, Dimensional Traveler. From here, you can weave in and out of your journey space-time imprint. Though you can only travel to places you've already been to in reality. These doors will unlock only from the other side. This is effectively the overworld. Because... Each one of these doors leads to, I believe, a singular level. There might be some that lead to the same level, or just different parts of it. I don't quite remember. Strange entities in this place prevent you from opening your menu, so sadly you'll have to exist here without it. Difficult, I know, but you can do it. I believe in your sport. Do your best. Not that I really needed to enter the menu. Let's go to the attic. The attic, a place rarely ventured, full of old, st old stuff long forgotten about. Perhaps there's some distant memory up here that will be useful, useful to you in your time of need. I believe there should be. Let's venture in the attic in our underpants. Let's go further up first. Oh god, there's cats. However, there is also a save. I'm not going to kill everything if I don't have to. Just only if it's in my way. By the way, that water will actually hurt. There we go. And... There goes that one. There's a lot of coins in here. There's also a bird that I just stomped on. It's pretty good at stomping on things. He stomped at a stomped on a bird in midair. Come on, there we go. Ow. Okay, this is actually worrying. One of the things that's worrying about this is that enemies do respawn if you die. So if you manage to fail somewhere. All of the enemies that you would have killed would have been respawned. Then I'm going to try and kill the cats because they're fairly easy to get. And hopefully, they'll drop a heart. As soon as I get back up there. But they didn't. There is that. Aww. Oh. Thankfully, I didn't actually reuse this. I need to press up key to reuse it again. I thought it got used every time you walked by. Well, fully. So we'll have to go back into the room with the mice in order to get the key and the coins. Because there are keys here that we'll need for the rest of the house. Because there's only enough keys to open all the doors in the house. And it was either get hit, it was either get out, get out of the way or get hit. I wish these bats weren't stuck up there. That's the biggest problem right now. How? Alright, I'm going... froze for a second there. I nearly chomped on that bird and I didn't even realize it. It's... 
seems very difficult for the game to actually give you health. Oh. That is one of the more difficult things to get, I think. So let's go back in here real quick. Oh. There we go. These... Timing the stomp on these mice is... Very difficult, actually. Come on! Oh, and you even gave me my health back. I thank you. Well, I killed one. There we go. Now this room is completely safe for me to collect things in. And then I'll go touch the, t the TV. And also, as you can tell, well, as you can guess, this game was made by a European person, as they... That was my space bar sticking for a second. As you can tell by the fact that they call the TV the telly, and the fact that there is also... British pounds on the coins. And let's immediately get hit. I got rid of one bat. That is very helpful. I don't know why I did that. I want to kill you. Get back here. Alternatively, you just stay out of my way. Or you can give me health. And the, fir the f first. The second key. What's up here? Ooh. Well, there is something up there. Which needs four keys. Which I'm guessing are from the four sections of the attic. I will actually come in here. And I will have this as be a stopping point. When we come back. We will continue on through the attic and get whatever that scrawl of writing was. Till then, see you later!